Good morning. Today is the 26th of November, and that means that the show of Aflihem is at place right now. And let's go to the show. But first, I want to give you a quick update on all my chickens and maybe some other animals as well, like Bobinche, the golden pheasants, and the ducks. As you can see, <laughs> Bobinche is doing great. She's now an adult. She's about eight months now. She caught her first mouse like a week ago or so. Uh, she also likes this baby fox. <laughs> this is always nice when your dog likes to chase foxes. <laughs> Now over to the chickens. On the grass in the Nestira chicken coop, I only have my golden pheasants from this year. So the ones that I hatched from hatching eggs that I bought in the Netherlands. They're doing great. I have three salmon ones. This is the female. These are the two males. I have two cinnamon ones, males. Both are males. This one and this one. Very nice color. And then I have two cinnamon pied. I think it's they're both females. And where is the other one? Oh, over here. She's so pale that I almost mistaken her for the salmon one. But it's is that one. And this one. She only has like white feathers on her on her head. But yeah, I think that's enough to to like call her a pied one. The pied cinnamon. So I'm very curious when I'm gonna start breeding with these, what kind of chicks and colors I will get. Apparently when you cross cinnamon with salmon, you could hatch peach. I'm very excited for that. And here are ducks, very noisy. We still have Whitaka, blue and yellow wild pipes. We call it dark silver wild. Blue wild, blue, blue wild pied. This is a duckling from this year. No, it's not a duckling anymore, of course. I think she's really nice. Mm, not too bad, not too bad. Also two new ones, black pieds. These are actually grandchildren from our cross of uh, Smurf, Duck and Pollock. And here's Fretcher, doing very well. And his girlfriend, uh, wild pied pied. The big anconas, I got rid of one hand, uh, actually two, uh, one over here and one over here. And I got a new one, which is this girl, this big girl over here, all doing great. Then over here, we have the chicks from this year. I mean, yeah, I can't really call them chicks because they're very big right now. The Livorno hen, not a bad one, she's a large pile. Some bantam and conas, and mostly large and conas actually. Some very nice blue mottles. You see how small the beach is? <laughs> she's smaller than the anconas. Here's some anconas from, from Mark. This hen, this hen as well, here in the front. They're still not the greatest, but they're improving, even still. Now I'm just waiting for the combs of the large pile to get a little bit bigger. This comb might not be the greatest. Also her wattle. Mm. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna give her some more time because her mottling is very nice. Very nice rooster over there, her brother. We still have two other roosters from Diller Bloodline, from Hank. Um, from Bernard, I mean. These were from Hank. And there's this one, a blue mottled. But the combs are not the greatest. I'm still hoping that they will get a little bit larger. A very nice hand over here. The blue mottled bantam, black mottled bantam. The Muscovy ducks are doing great as well. Mm. I do believe that the two males started fighting a little bit. I don't see any blood or injuries, only that they were like a, bit, a little bit covered in mud. This is the only Icona Bantam rooster I kept from this year. Not a bad one. He has a very big cone. And some nice earlobes as well. However, I do see some red in here. The red in the earlobes is now a very big fault when you show them. So that's something I need to pay attention to. A very nice Dunmottled hand from this year. But as you can see, still a little bit uh, plump. 
a little bit too fat. <laughs> Apart from that, everybody's doing great here. They're not afraid of Bubinche. <laughs> and Bubinche, leave them alone. <laughs> Over here, we have some red ones. With Son of Luigi. And yeah, everything is just running. There's a red model pen over here. There's some blue ones, black ones, blue models, red models. Well, there's the winter time, doesn't matter. Bubincha, come! The golden peasant. But I have some nice photos of him. Uh, I'm gonna put them on my Instagram. My Instagram is just Sander Bowers. Uh, ah, here's the other male. Let's go. You see, he's a little bit dirty, so I think they have fun. And yeah, as you can see, mud, 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 mud. So I'm looking for some wood chippings. If somebody in Belgium can help me with the wood chippings, please send me a message. I could really use some. <laughs> what? Here's some blue mottles, black mottles. Here we have our trio of yellow golden presents. Mm, female over here, the male is over there. Our red mottled rooster, he's over there. Yeah, always hiding, of course. Come, Vincia. No, no. Ah, this chicken escaped. Oh, maybe she's coming back. That would be great. Yeah. Not the greatest news. Because it is running. As you can see, he's not doing very well. He's very skinny, his wings are hanging. His head, you know. But he still eats, he drinks. So I'm gonna try to give him some vitamins. Um, I believe it's called Vita Vital or Vita Vital from the Silaha. My previous sponsor. Hopefully that works. Give him like a little boost to overcome his illness. I don't really know what he has. He's fully vaccinated. I just treated all the chickens for internal parasites, so I dewormed them. And then I also gave him something against ectoparasites, especially the red blood mites. So yeah, I don't really know what's bothering him. But he's the only one that's sick. And as you can see, the hands that are with him are doing fine. Howdy. There is Fatty, seven and eight years old, or eight and nine years. Don't really remember. I'm afraid this might be the last time you'll see him. I'll keep you guys updated. We have Luigi, the famous rooster. Still doing great, still looking great. He would definitely get a zero on the show. Look at his earlobes. So much red. And he has some white on his face. His sleepy eye, his bad cold. <laughs> Apart from that, his color is amazing. Eh? The mottling. He's very proud as well. Look at the mottling. Very nice. And he's now accompanied by yeah, the gold peasant female, the 5000 female. Very skittish. They get along, so hopefully we'll have some fertile eggs next year and we can hatch some 5,000s. Let's check out Bubincha. Oh! Luigi! Bubincha! Come here! Don't fight with Luigi, he has very big spurs. No, no, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Bobin, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, she just wants to play. <laughs> Luckily, she's very fast. <laughs> Whoopa! Well, we just fast as well. <laughs> Shit, so crazy. <laughs> Come on, Vincia. I haven't showed you these guys or girls. The Muscovy ducks from this year. Very nice. They are both very nice. Here's the other one. So both are wild types. That means black with a green shine. They would like the typical uh, white shoulders. 
They're getting along very nice with the others. I was expecting somewhat of a fight, but the only were like chatting a little bit. And that was it. Look, she's just sitting next to the older female. No problems. <laughs> but Vinci want to sniff. <laughs> but, uh, the chickens only want to fight. And then over here we have Mario. And he's accompanied with three new females from this year. Two rat models and one rat. Those are actually daughters from the first rat rooster that I showed you. Here's Mario. Very nice. This is rat model. It's not really perfect yet, but I'm getting very close, very close. So that was it for the update. As you can see, all are doing great, except for Ronnie. So I'm gonna give him some vitamins. Then I'm gonna feed everybody, because the ducks are hungry, chickens are hungry, everybody's hungry. And then we're off to the show. See you within one second. In het zakboek voor de kippenhouder vertel ik je alles wat je moet weten over het houden van kippen.